about where the camera is, we're going to call that benchmark uh, 1. That has a stated elevation of elevation 100. So now I get my crosshair crisp and dark. I get my objective focus absolutely focused. I need the crosshair centered in the rod. And then I push the blue button and it's attempting to take a shot. And it gives me a rod height of 5.074 feet and the horizontal distance is 10.2. So, I don't know if you can read those numbers with the camera. Let me turn the light on. Does that help? Yep. Can you read that? Good. So that's the rod height. Now what it does not give you is the height of the instrument. I don't know why uh, it doesn't. It knows what its height of instrument is, but it doesn't want to share that information with the operator. So if you want to know what the height of your instrument is, you have to do that math yourself. So now, I am now ready to, I want to hit enter because we have an illuminated Y slash N for yes, and it stores that number. Now it's in foresight mode, and the rod reading and the height are blank. So now we're ready for another rod reading. So just to get a change of elevation, why don't you go to a step or someplace, something different. And now we're going to lock again on the rod. Hold on, right in your fingers. So now I've got a crisp picture. I'm getting ready to shoot again. And this time, good, I've got it. You can. Uh, let me take one of these out of the way. This time, I have a rod height of 3.442 feet, and the horizontal distance was 11.1 feet. So our first shot was about 10 point something, I can't remember, 10.2. This time we're 11.1, .1, so we have a reasonably balanced backside and foresight, which is important for uh, precision. And the rod height is now being subtracted from the height of instrument. Uh, it's subtracting from the height of instrument 3.442 and also gives me an elevation of our foresight over on the step is now 101.632 feet. So I can hit enter to save it and it stays in foresight mode. Now foresights and side shots by nature are similar, typically, uh, and this does not discern between a foresight and or a side shot. Side shots we typically can't prove their elevation. Uh, mathematically, foresights we can if we make a turning point. So if I am just making a level circuit and I'm ready now to make a turn, I simply go to menu and then it lights up and it says turning point, yes or no, yes. And then it gives me the input elevation of the ground, which is the step that we just shot, of 101.632, which I remembered that's what it was. So I say enter for yes. And now it has switched to backside mode, and it's ready for me to move the instrument and repeat that process. So I would then move the instrument. around the rod in another direction, I would re-level. And I'm now ready for my back sight on the step. I would get focused, 
center the crosshair on the rod, hit the button, shoot it, save it, it then goes to foresight. I can then go back to my original elevation or continue on for another foresight and so on. That's essentially it for the power level. To turn this off, you have to hold two buttons simultaneously. It powers down. Again, any electronic equipment, when you bring it back, you must take the battery out of it and put it back on the charger. Otherwise, it will not be of use to anyone in the future. Close up the instrument. Dismount it and put it away.